Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to my channel. So today we have a very, very special episode. We're actually in Silver Lake right now. This is one of my favorite and most special areas of Los Angeles. I lived in this area for maybe seven, eight years. Now I live in Glendale, but I always love coming back here. And uh, since it's one of my favorite areas, I thought that I'd let you guys discover the area and my favorite places around it. Here we're at the reservoir and we're gonna start walking around here and uh, hopefully through this whole video we're gonna go on a journey of Silver Lake and you'll discover like one of the coolest and bestest places in Los Angeles. This area is one of the coolest places to visit with funky blocks lined with boutique coffee shops, vegan eats, many farm to table restaurants, trendy bars and indie music venues. If you're coming to this area, the first thing that I do is go and visit the Silver Lake Reservoir. After all, this area of Los Angeles would not be called Silver Lake if it wasn't for the reservoir. As you can see behind me, this is the Silver Lake Reservoir. It's, uh, you're not really allowed to walk in it, but there's like a nice little trail around here. And it's about maybe I'll say two miles or something like that. It doesn't, it just really doesn't take that long to go around it, but it's such a gorgeous thing to do. And when I used to live around this area, I, I used to always go around this little walk and they've really, in the past couple of years, they've made it so pleasant. They've added more walking places so that you don't have to be in the middle of traffic and all that but you get to see ducks you get to see birds flying up you get to be a little bit with nature and you know times are difficult nowadays so being able to recharge yourself is really good the reservoir is actually owned by the los angeles department of water and power and was put in place in order to bring drinkable water to over 600,000 homes in the los angeles area Back in 2008, they did have to drain the reservoir because it was found to have been contaminated by cancer-causing agents, but was quickly filled back up after fixing the whole situation by adding 400,000 black hollow plastic shade balls that actually reduced the likelihood of the sunlight-fueled bromate. Since then, there has actually been quite a movement in order to not just improve the reservoir itself, but the area surrounding it. This is one thing that I really love about this trail around the, the Silver Lake Reservoir is that there's all this nature and I mean, it's not extravagant, but again, like just recharging yourself and it's just beautiful to have trees around you. And also at the same time, what I, I think is in fact the luxury and the whole pleasant thing about Silver Lake is the fact that it is so urban basically you're in the middle of the city but yet you have this place and i think that's the luxury and that's why this area is actually so expensive to live in is just the fact that you have the luxury of being able to have trees nature trail and then the, the city right right next to you basically another cool nifty thing that i found pretty much everywhere in silver lake is the presence of outdoor miniature libraries you know you're in a good neighborhood when you actually find a free library. People are actually reading. This is beautiful. It's sort of a take a book, leave a book. And just walking around this area, I found numerous boxes that allowed you to do just that. Isn't this cool? I just showed you guys one of the little public libraries. And right here, I walk another couple blocks. And what do I find? Another take a book, leave a book. Showing once again, this is a good neighborhood. Behind here, I don't know who it is, but there's this house that's so interesting. People actually took the time to make their house look very Japanese-like, like in those samurai movies and all that. And yeah, the house is not samurai-like, but the whole driveway is, and I just think that's beautiful. And it just shows again that people are just so artistic at heart. When you're walking around the lake, what's really cool too is that there is an actual park park. And as you can see, there's a little children's playground. Unfortunately, it is quarantine right now, so they, they kind of closed the whole thing. But normally there's, there's, a, there's a little park and they have basketball courts and you can actually lounge on it and, and maybe have a little picnic and stuff like that. And uh, it's a very, very nice place to go at. But luckily there's another place around the lake that has a picnic area. So let's go there. This other green grass area is particularly pleasant because it is quite large and a gated area separating it from the people walking or jogging on the main trail. This does make it feel more private and park-like. Many people come here to relax, do art, or simply sit down while enjoying the sun and the warm breeze. I did stumble upon a cute little gopher, which was a nice, pleasant surprise. 
Remember when you're in public and you're in parks, we got a social distance and also wear your face covering. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my face covering. Here we go. And I'm gonna wear it. Be a good citizen and social distance. Speaking of current events, I did want to highlight some of the effects of what is happening in the world and how it's impacting our businesses. Behind me we have Spaceland, which is a very, very iconic place in Silver Lake. It's actually a bar where they have a lot of live music and uh, a lot of really cool stuff. Unfortunately, because of the quarantine, it is closing down, but I still wanted to show it. And I'm not really sure if you guys recognize it, but it was actually used in the movie Yes Man with Jim Carrey and Zoe Deschanel. This is the place where she was uh, doing her little artsy uh, musical interpretation. So I just thought I'd share it. It's a really beautiful place and I'm really sad to see it go, but hey, at least it gets to live in my video. Something to take note of is that along the reservoir, there's a bunch of really cool houses that have not only interesting architecture and design, but also historical value. And speaking of history, some of them are actually relics from the original Disney studio. The original studio lot was in Los Feliz, which is actually really, really close by to Silver Lake. And being in Silver Lake, we have those really, really interesting architecture in some of the houses. And if you look at them, they kind of resemble some of the earlier 1930s Disney movies. And it's not a coincidence. Again, it's because the original Disney studio lot was really close by to here. So in those days, they used to have the employees and stuff like that living close to the lots. And they built these houses that were made to resemble the cartoons of the time. And uh, that's again, one of the reasons why Silver Lake is one of the prime areas to live in, in Los Angeles. Here's another little strange little thing that I found in Silver Lake. It's a swab box, which basically, I guess it's like, take what you need, leave what you can. It has a bunch of like plates and a book and uh, a bunch of little things. And I think that's really cute. And uh, you know, and we're in time of need. <laughs> so this is really, really nice and appreciate it. Another great place to visit in Silver Lake is the Sunset Junction, which is located on the intersection of Sunset Boulevard and Santa Monica Boulevard. Here we are at the Sunset Junction, and this is actually one of the coolest, coolest areas of Silver Lake. It's on Sunset Boulevard. And uh, one thing that's really cool about this little junction is the fact that they have so many cool stores, a lot of uh, smaller stores owned by just regular small owners really and then they also have a bunch of cafes and restaurants as you can tell it is a little bit noisy because of all the cars and stuff but it is one of the staples of silver lake and one of the best places to go to something i did want to highlight is the fact that signs can be super super duper confusing in la and right here behind me people have started putting stickers on all these signs and those are parking signs and if LA parking is already confusing, it can get even more confusing once people start putting stickers on it. So I just wanted to highlight it. I just think it's hilarious. One thing I love about the specific area is that many of the walls have really creative murals, which once again shows how artistic and beautiful this area is. This is one thing that I really, really love about Silver Lake is the fact that they have all these beautiful murals. They're just so colorful. There's so many walls around here that have this. For example, there's a school behind here, and this is just a decoration of the school. I mean, how cool is that? And one little guy that I wanted to highlight of this whole mural was this guy right here. So this is actually a real guy that used to walk all the time in Silver Lake. I used to think that he was kind of crazy and stuff because he would always mumble and walk really fast while he was reading. But it actually turns out that he was a, a doctor that was very smart and he used to read because that was his thing, reading and uh, walking. And one thing that I really love about that is that, um, well, they made a painting of him. He did unfortunately uh, pass away. He actually uh, committed suicide, but um, at least he's uh, immortalized right here in the heart of Silver Lake and uh, everybody gets to see him and uh, it's just cool to, uh, to have him here, immortalized forever. I did want to highlight that even though there are many beautiful murals, unfortunately many taggers have been destroying some of them too, which is such a pity. Honestly, what is this? What is this? Like this was already like a beautiful mural. As you can see, this is beautiful right here. And then we have really horrible, horrible tags right here. I just wanted to call you guys out. Like, what are you guys thinking? 
let's keep the city clean. And even though some of the walls have been vandalized, there still are murals that are well kept, as well as some shops that have managed to keep their storefronts beautiful looking too. Everything is so freaking artistic in Silver Lake that even the restaurants are colorful and beautiful and so cool and so well decorated. So yeah, people always think of Venice as being like the mecca of artistic stuff, but I say, hey, go to Silver Lake. It's closer, it's more central, and there's so much, so much cool stuff. Another thing that Silver Lake is known for is its hidden staircases. One of the most popular ones, if not the most popular, is the hard stairs. As you can tell, people are posing in it, quarantine or not, people are still here. And this is actually one of the nicest little places, little nooks of Silver Lake, and it's always worth catching it. It's right on the Sunset Strip, and uh, it actually goes up, and it is a beautiful place to take pictures. I love going here, it's, uh, it's really pretty. Once you get to the midway point going up the stairs, if you make a right in that street and keep going, you will actually see a bunch of Spanish-style houses, which are really a sight to see. What's really cool when you get halfway through the love stairs is that you actually, if you make a right and go straight, you're gonna end up in this really cool little area that's, I guess, a little Mexican area of, uh, of the city, of Silver Lake. And it's, uh, it's just really pretty. There's like a lot of houses that really look like the rich areas of Mexico and I really love it and I really recommend you guys to go see it if you actually come to this area. Otherwise, just check out my images, it's beautiful. Close to the Sunset Junction, a very important landmark to go to and visit is the Vista Theater. Right here behind me we have the Vista Theater which is right on the junction of Sunset and Hollywood. It's one of the most iconic places really in this area really. It's actually technically not considered Silver Lake it's actually considered uh, Los Feliz or, I mean, adjacent to the Hollywood area, really. And uh, this is really an iconic place because it's existed in this area, really, since the, maybe the 1930s. And uh, they have a lot of screenings. A lot of indie films get to screen here. You're able to rent it out also pretty easily when you're an indie filmmaker like me. And uh, I just wanted to kind of highlight it just because I mean, they've been having, cinemas have been having a difficult time. It's quarantine, there's a lot of stuff happening. They've been closed for a while, and uh, I'm really hoping that eventually cinemas will come back to what they are or what they're meant to be. Okay, well, this was the tour of uh, Silver Lake, and we're ending it here in Los Feliz slash Hollywood. And uh, yeah, the sun uh, really set really fast. It's already kind of getting dark and stuff, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and exploring this little iconic cool place of the city. I really think it's one of the most pleasant places to be at. It's so artistic, there's so many things to do. And um, yeah, I'd really love to hear a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your experience is coming here and visiting it. And uh, yeah, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.